Good evening, guys. Uh, good evening, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening for all, for everybody. Yes. Uh, okay, perfect. There we go. So, good evening, guys. Great to see you. Thank you so much for joining. Happy Thursday. I hope you're having a really good one. Daniel Adolfo, great to see you guys. How are you? How's everything going? Uh, Arnoldo, good evening. Great to see you too. Uh, Helen, thank you so much for joining. Uh, how how you doing, guys? Well, Daniel, I guess you're working. I guess you're at work, right? Yes, yeah, I am in my workplace. But everything good? Yeah, yeah, relax. <laughs> wow, nice. That sounds super nice to hear. What about like yesterday? Did you have like a, an easy day, a difficult day? Yeah, easy day. No problem. Yeah, relax. Don't have, at this moment, don't have um, uh, aircraft. Don't have aircraft in the, in the lake. Wow, so that means that there is it's just only, little to do. Yes, it's only only for how how, how can I say uh after after the presencia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you just got to be present there at the yes, base. Yeah. Only, oh. only. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you normally go to sleep when it is like that? Do you go to bed? Um, yeah, I'm I'm sleep two hours. Oh. Two. <laughs> two hours and, and, and all night, two hours. <laughs> oh, but that is a little bit. What time uh, do you yeah. finish working? Um, I finish working, for, uh, I work from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Mm. So you finish at 7. But about uh, 2 or 3 a.m., I just relax and the uh, and the uh, and the desk on the chair chair on desk yeah just relax oh, but when you say relax it's like you fall asleep <laughs> yeah yeah sleep yeah a little no, no sleep deep uh, sleep no mm -hmm. I, I i am uh, you close your eyes okay so yeah yeah <laughs> i close your eyes i i I have my radio, my ah, you have the my, Yeah, yeah, I have my cell phone for a, a, another another situation. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. For I mean, me, my attention. Hi, Christian. Good evening. Tell us about for me. For, for me, I have a terrible day because uh, I went to the bank because mm -hmm. I I can get or I can I can get money with travel. Uh, uh, is your, and, and I is went your to the car bank. blocked? Yeah, uh, and I recovered my debit card. Then oh. I I use it and I forgot in the withdrawal. You and, forgot in the, uh, the ATM, the yeah, card. Yeah, the no. ATM. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but but uh, a few minutes ago, I I received an email uh, with advertence uh, from the bank. And I have to go tomorrow. <laughs> to the no. bank again. Wow. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm really sorry but, uh, to, to hear that, but I think you have to be super careful. Um, yeah, of course. Luckily, uh, so your previous debit card was locked and nobody could use it, but still, you got to be careful. Oh, yeah. sorry about that. That doesn't, but the good thing is that you, you received already like an email from your bank, I guess um like a sort of a, i don't know a warning probably that your car was blocked or something i don't know yeah but, okay sounds super super weird <laughs> yeah, yeah. and anyways um uh -huh. so thank you for sharing that uh, noemi good evening andrea hello how are you judy good evening girls como están how you doing christian how you doing Hello, Hi. everything good? Good evening. Thank you for asking. Hello. Good evening. Everything good, guys? Everything good, Miss. Today was uh, my day off. Today was your day off? Yes. Oh, it sounds good. What did you do? Oh, only... Slept? Uh, 
no. I I I did take my motorcycle at no sé cómo se dice ayer. Ah, to the workshop. workshop. You workshop. took your motorcycle to the workshop. Mm -hmm. Is your motorcycle okay? Yes. Only or garage. Only it's fine. The maintenance. Ah, okay. So the normal mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sounds okay. Andrea, do you ride a motorcycle? Yes. What kind of motorcycle is that? Is that a scooter? automatic motorcycle? No, it's a Navi. Oh my God. Wait, wait, but Andrea, I remember you said that you were kind of short, right? Yes. Miss, ¿cómo es que no se cae? Ya, ya aprendí. That motorcycle, that model of motorcycle is, is short. Really? Short no. people. Este es señora, ¿verdad? Yes. Este es señora moto. Yes. Yes. No. Yeah, because I remember Andrea mentioned before that she was kind of short. And I have one motorcycle too, the same style. But guys, se ve pequeña, pero no es pequeña. It's not no. low. So, I mean, not, not that low. <laughs> okay, yeah. wow, well, Miss, but I'm glad. I'm glad you can <laughs> ride your motorcycle you. now. Sounds like good news. And... Uh, Wow, ya no le da miedo, so you're not afraid of being in the streets, hitting the streets with that? No, ya no. Wow, congrats. <laughs> Sounds cool. Because creo que ya no le he sacado todavía. I'm like, I'm super scared <laughs> to go into the streets, you know. Oh, okay, cool. Carlos, good evening. Thank you for joining. Gabby, good evening. Hope good everything evening. goes well. Oh. Angelica, hello. <laughs> How you doing, guys? Guys, ya casi viernes, so it's about, you know, Friday, oh my God. So it's like time is flying here. So that's for sure. Well, guys, uh, I'm super glad to have you. Uh, thank you so much for making the time to join um, this session again. Estamos en la clase número 14, so we, I'm sorry, number 13. So we are kind of in week number three, two more weeks, guys. Y esto se termina, so time definitely go super fast. Um, today, vamos a trabajar un poquito with some vocabulary. Uh, we are going to be working uh, too with some listening practice. Uh, ya les voy a compartir el, el ejercicio too, so we can practice listening a little bit. Um, I know that uh, for derechos de autor and everything, normally um, listening is not an activity we do here. Uh, no les podemos poner like um, an audio from someone else, you know, that can be recorded, but vamos a encontrar la forma, you know, de trabajar some listening exercises too, para que escuche diferentes acentos, different people, and we can work on that. Um, so guys, let's get started today. Uh, the first activity we're going to be doing, uh, it's called a trivia. So we're going to do this little exercise. Um, I know that you are, uh, I think we have a, like a trivia some time ago and you were like super pro with this. So I have kind of a trivia, let's say. Veamos guys, como les va? Let's see how well you can uh, work in here. If it works for you, if you know the answers and you can give us, of course, you can open your microphone and you can share your ideas here. So give me just a moment. Um, hold on, hold on. Okay, so uh, for this trivia, guys, I have a couple of questions. I'm going to give you five, probably 10 seconds so you can give us an answer. But super important, intentemos no utilizar um, a dictionary, right? Try not to use a dictionary, just give us uh, the answer that you think and let's see if we can accumulate some points. So yeah. let's get started. Uh, number one, uh, first question guys is related to science. Uh, I don't know if you're good at that, so let's give it a try. Uh, and the question says, blood is filtered in which part, uh, in which organ of your body? So blood is filtered. In which organ of your body? What is it? Heart. 
Blood, blood. Blood, blood, the red liquid, right? Blood. The blood. The heart. The heart. The heart. The lungs. Heart? No. Oh, lungs? No. no. How, 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 how can I, how, how, how can I say? Liver. Liver. The liver. No, liver? it's not liver. No. Liver? no. Ah, uh, the pulmon. No, the pulmon. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, uh -huh, guys. Blood. 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 Red liquid. Yes, the blood. Uh, yeah. I don't know how to say Yes. Yes. Riñones. Riñones. Yes. 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 And yeah, this is why okay. the kidneys are very important in our body and we have to drink a lot of water. Nice, good, good, good. Okay, question two, guys. Remember, no internet. <laughs> question yeah, two, okay. what, is the planet? Here. <laughs> <laughs> what is the planet number five in from the sun? Which is planet, which is the fifth planet from the sun? Jupiter. Yes, Daniel, very good. <laughs> nice. So one point for Kenya, one for Daniel. Okay, next one. Come on, guys, you can get a point. Who developed the theory of relativity? Albert Einstein. Uh, Albert Einstein. Yes, great. So Albert Einstein. Good, Christian. Good, good, good. good. Very nice. Okay. Um, Next one, guys. Yes, I have just heard Kenya. Come on, girls, you can do it too. In which country is Mount Everest? Uh, Nepal. Yes, very good. I think I heard like two or three. Very good job. Yes, that's yeah. Nepal. Nepal, China, and, and Malaya. No. No, okay. nothing in Malaya. No, in pa Everest. Pa oh, Pakis yeah. Pakistan, I think so. Okay, okay, next one, guys. Yeah, I have that it's in the in the poll, so that's fine. Mm, it's fine. Let me see. Um, let me think about something. Or India, Nepal, and China. And China. Two or three countries, yes. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Okay, this is related, guys, to entertainment, to movies, to singers, etc. Oh, so oh. it says, "What is the name of the American? What is the name of the pop singer, the female pop singer that married with Guy Ritchie?" Madonna. Madonna. Yes. Oh yeah. my God, they're Christian. Wow. I thought that Christian just knew about computers. I'm glad you know yes. about it. Girls, come on, boys are winning. Very good job. The queen of the pop. What is the name of the famous pop musician? who sang at the Princess Diana's funeral. Michael Jackson. Elton John. Yes, Elton John, very good. Ah. I don't know if that was Noemi or Carlos. <laughs> yeah. Good. How do you know, guys? I heard all. Oh. Uh, but. He listened. Uh, he, okay. he often listened to uh, Elton John music, I think so. Okay, yeah, but because it's not that common, but okay, good, good, good. Yeah. <laughs> next one, guys, next. Okay, next one. Mm, science, again. Science. What is the name of the chemical element represented by the symbol N? What is the name of the Nitrogen. Nitrogen. Yes, nitrogen. Okay. Yes. Very good. Good, 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 good. And let's go. No, this is too easy. Wait. Yeah. I'm trying to, to select here some of the ones that are kind of the easiest. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is easy. Um, what is the name of the female pop singer who sang the song Oops, baby? One more time. Britney Spears. Britney Spears. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. That's Britney Spears. The prince of the pop. 
princess. The princess. The queen. The top queen is Madonna. Yes. Okay. Next one. What nationality was Mozart? Germany. Uh, no. 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 no, no. Uh, from no. Austria. Austria. Yes, Austria. Very good. Austria. Yeah. Okay. okay. Very nice. 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 And guys, I just got a couple more. They are very easy, I think. What is the name of the group? Um, Michael Jackson belonged to when he was young. Jackson, Jackson Five. Yes, good. <laughs> hey guys, most of you know the answer. Wow, okay. Okay, okay. Next one. Uh, uh, okay, in which country is the highest waterfall located? Canada. No, 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 no. Venezuela. Venezuela. Yes, good. The, That's Venezuela. The angel, the angel waterfalls. The angel, yes, the angel yeah. waterfall. Okay, very good. And okay, let me just. Uh, okay. Mm, but this is easy. But I don't know if you. Yeah. Okay. Um, next one, guys. And this is going to be the last. Who wrote, like, wrote, who wrote the song called Yesterday? Eric Clapton. No, no, no. 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 Oh, who? Uh, Paul McCartney. Not. Paul McCartney. Oh. Yes, very Paul McCartney. good. Uh, Paul McCartney. Uh, wow, exactly. That was the Beatles, right? The, the song was sung by the Beatles. Yeah. But yes. the person who wrote it, that was Paul McCartney. Wow, guys, I'm super glad that you know a lot about this. I have to look for more difficult. <laughs> okay, but that was really nice. That was really, really cool. So let's move on a little bit with part of the activities we have for today. And we are going to get started with some vocabulary uh, here. Um, I'm sorry, I, I think that uh, it is kind of messed up, but hopefully we can get it. So we have a couple of essential words. Um, we have the meaning, right? And we have a little example here. So I'm going to revise a couple of words that we kind of know, kind of remember. And of course, vamos a intentar practicarlas too. So you will find the words uh, on the left. Then you have kind of a definition, and then we have a little example. So we have absence, we have <laughs> academic, we have boundary, we have borrow, right? Uh, yeah. Characteristic, etc. Guys, eh, vamos a comenzar, eh, you know, just with repetition. So please repeat with me. Absence. 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 Academic. 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 Boundary. Boundary. Borrow. 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 Characteristic. Characteristic. Dialogue. Dialogue. Perfect. There you go. Embrace. Embrace. Foreign. 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 Generate. Generate. Highlight. Highlight. Incorporate. Incorporate. Incorporate and justify. 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 Very good. Okay. So let's take a look at the vocabulary we have right here. Uh, for example, absence, it says lack or unavailability. Guys, comencemos con esta palabra that is very important. So absence obviously means lack of something. Um, la, decíamos la vez anterior eh, con la palabra run out of, si se recuerdan. So yeah. run out of es como me quedé sin algo. Yeah. But also podemos usar lack como lack. falta de. Um, for example, si hablamos de cosas que nos hacen falta o que hacen falta, I don't know, in the country, in your work, etc. So we can say there is a lack, there is a lack of, hay una falta, ¿ve? or yeah. there is an absence of. So guys, ¿qué es lo que hace falta? What is something that is missing in El Salvador or in your company? Um. <laughs> um. 
Uh, for example, I think there is a lack of about about food. Uh, uh, always uh, is a lack of beans, for example. Uh, uh, yes, there is lack of beans. Uh, I can say, for example, I falta de oportunidades. There is no. a lack of opportunities, right? Opportunities. There is a lack of um, I don't Trans know. Transparency. Uh, transparency. Yes. So yeah. todo eso podemos cambiarlo. There is a lack of, or we can say there is an absence, right? So absence. Ausencia de algo. That's yeah. the normal way we use it. We have ah, okay. academic or scholastic, right? We have Scholast. the example right there too. Boundary or bound. Take bound. a look here. It is important to draw boundaries uh, with friends and relatives. Guys, what do you understand? Sin buscarla en el diccionario, uh, can you give me another example with boundary? It is important to draw boundaries. Yes? Uh, when no when when someone shares a, a friendship when someone there is a boundary when someone uh, shares a, a friendship mm -hmm. yes imagine with your friends but the example says it is important to draw boundaries. So what, or, um, or with friends. Like a limit. Yes, perfect. There you go. So a boundary yeah. is a limit. Yeah. So you need to draw boundaries or when you yeah. draw limits, right? Yeah. Even in, in, the, cases, in, this, right? in this context, right? In that context, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, but también pueden haber barreras físicas, right? Or limites yeah. físicos. So, um, so boundary is just that, bounds yeah. or limites, exactly. Yeah. The next one, guys, it's, oh, or for example, if we're talking about learning English, so ¿cuál es la boundary? ¿Cuál es nuestro límite cuando aprendemos inglés? So what is happening there, right? ¿Qué es lo que nos limita? Eh, yes, of course, no problem. Um, so next one is borrow. Remember in English, tenemos dos expresiones. One is lend, the other one is borrow. Ambos significan lo mismo, pero se usan un poquito diferente. So borrow says, I routinely borrow books from the library. So borrow means que yo lo tomo, right? That I take it. So no es que yo doy, but it's that I take it. Uh, then we have characteristic, you know what it is. Uh, dialogue, conversation, embrace. I like this word. Uh, and it says here, accept. Matilda learned to embrace hair flaws. I really love this expression. So embrace is como aceptar o abrazar, right? Whatever we're talking about, pero no físicamente, no como le doy un abrazo a alguien, no hugging somebody, sino aceptar algo, right? Uh, for example, si tengo muchos cambios, I need to embrace changes. Necesito aceptarlos. I need to be um, take them as part of my, my own, right? Or Matilda learning to embrace her flaws. Do you have an idea what flaws is? No. I have no idea. What does flaws mean? Okay. So, anybody? Not too sure. Okay. So, flaws, Not guys. Son como nuestros, nuestras fallas, right? Ah. Uh, nuestros puntos malos, mm. our weakness, o en lo que nos equivocamos. Exacto. Failures. So, uh, mm, no. Yes, but, but no necesariamente tan grandes. So, flaws is just todo lo, lo malo que tenemos. Weaknesses, you know, um, low points. Uh, yeah, failure is part of it. So, son como fallas, right? Kind okay. Of, Flows. Flows. So that is embracing. Right. Embracing is como abrazar, aceptar, yeah. something that is part of our own. Then we have foreign or overseas. Whenever you listen to the word overseas, es como fuera del país, en fuera de nuestras fronteras. So we normally say foreign. Probably you have heard, oh, hay muchos extranjeros here in El Salvador. So there are a lot of uh, foreign people living in El Salvador. Or if you say, voy fuera del país, so I'm traveling overseas, or I'm overseas. traveling to a foreign nation. I'm traveling for, to a foreign country. Um, right. The example is here says, 
On her 15th birthday, Ravi's parents took him to a foreign tour. So foreign, ya se entiende que fue afuera de las fronteras. I'm sorry, Carlos, creo que tenía algo there. You wanted to share something? Yeah, uh, uh, pop group of the 80s, mm -hmm. uh, Foreigner. Ah, yes. Well, I don't know if oh, the 80s, is. but they uh, have a song. I know. I want to know what love is. It's yes, that's right. That's right. Uh -huh. So foreigners, exactly. Como los and extranjeros, have... right? Los de afuera. Uh -huh. So that would be the one. Exactly. So foreigners. Uh -huh. So overseas. So cuando digan, guys, voy a ir a la fuera del país. Uh, and it's not necessary to say I'm traveling out of the country, but you can simply say I am traveling overseas. Yes, entiende, right? We already get that you're going out or I'm traveling to a foreign land or a foreign country. Uh, then we have January. Can I, can, I use, can I use to go abroad too? Oh, yes, I need to go abroad. Mm -hmm. So overseas, okay. abroad. But yes. overseas, yeah, overseas. Those okay. are, no, but yeah, Trends. ambas son bien comunes. Both are super common. Yeah. And the next one we have is generate, but I think you got it. So like produce or cause. My boss asked her interns to generate ideas, so to cause to produce ideas. I really like this word, highlight, because eh, nosotros usamos call attention, but the word is highlight. It says the report highlighted the various discrepancies in the finance. So like call attention, como um, resaltar, resaltar, right? So. Um, to, Llamar to, la yes. to make to make notes about yes or so everybody can pay attention to that specific thing so if i say for example hey rafa what are you doing <laughs> and I'm just so she highlighted you know rafael's participation uh -huh, so highlight is that right como mencionar or, or stress something out uh, incorporate and justify you have already uh, part of the examples here so um guys from this list of words cuáles son kind of new cuáles son poco usados por ustedes which are the ones that you didn't um I don't know, you didn't use, or you don't normally use. Um, for me, for me, I, I have I have never been used a scholastic, for example, scholastic? boundary, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Boundary, scholastic, anything else, guys? Uh, for me, boundary. Boundaries too. Yeah. Embrace. Yeah. Embrace. 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 Yeah. Embrace. Yeah. Embrace. Not a word we use. Overseas. Judy? Uh, okay. Yes. Highlight. I would say nobody uses a highlight. Normally we say she call attention. Um, she mentioned, usamos como las palabras más comunes, but this is the idea with this kind of vocabulary, que subamos un poquito de nivel, right? Guys, I'll give you five minutes. Um, I'm going to ask you to write examples. Intentamos no usar Google Translator or anything, sino que sean ejemplos reales para ustedes, ejemplos que se vayan a recordar luego, of the words that are not, uh, that you're not familiar with. So, for example, si no normalmente utilizamos la palabra lack, that I would say is una de las palabras más útiles, and uh, no, um, I don't know why, but no nos acostumbramos a usarla, but it's super, super útil. So, uh, let's start using that one. So, My so, brother used lack with his playing online, and the internet is down. So, what does he it normally say? Me, you give me luck. Ah, but creería. With the internet. Okay, but I'm not sure, but I would think that he refers to this one. Como suerte, probably. No, no. Luck, me luck is when, for example, when I was watching Netflix and oh. he's playing, then I, I take internet. Uh, and I interrupt him. Was broken, interruption, oh. an interruption. Yes, then he say me, 
You, tú me estás dando lag. Okay. Ah, como un bajón, something like Ajá, that. Ah, bajón. Ajá, oh, como un bajón de interesting. Internet. Okay. Interesting. I have never heard the word lag in este contexto, pero que interesante. So that sounds really interesting. Yeah. Something I learned Maybe today. Maybe it's for gamers. Probably. Oh, yeah, I, I have to uh, check it out. Pero que interesante, guys. So, yeah, especialmente el, el idioma es bien flexible in that sense. Oh, okay. Okay. you give me a lack of a lack of internet, a lack of connection. Yeah, that would work. Como una forma, uh, yeah, that, that could definitely work. So guys, new word for gamers. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll give you five minutes. Okay, um, write your examples, please. No les voy a pedir que lo escriban in the, in the chat. That is not necessary. Es más como para que ustedes los tengan por ahí. And then you give me some examples, right? So five minutes, people. Si tienen dificultades con alguno, let me know. Lo resolvemos, you know, or we can um, help you in the process. Please, intentemos no usar traductor. Try not to use a translator. Um, try not to use Google. Um, just try to make a sentence your own sentence, right? So five guys, I'll give you five. Let me know, guys, if you need some help.
Um, all right, guys. So in regards to boundaries, so normally we use the word, uh, um, let me see, another way to say that is, yeah, like a limit, I would say. So yeah, it's como un punto, you know, uh, between one thing and the other. So that would be kind of a limit, kind of a um, barrier, yeah. So um, that's why it says it's important to draw boundaries between friends and relatives. Yeah, like um, like a sort of, like a point in between. So that is boundary. Um, the boundaries. I would say no es muy utilizado para hablar de, de límites físicos. It is not that it, yeah, common some, some to days. talk about, uh, like, um, for it's, example, countries' boundaries, uh, en el sentido yeah. limítrofe, we don't yeah. really use it that way, pero sí en algunas eh, boundaries, for example, uh, I don't know, let's talk about Venezuela, let's say. So yeah. Venezuela tiene límites o tiene limitaciones para ingresar, para importar o exportar alimentos. So Venezuela has some boundaries yeah. in when the I sense talk, of importing and exporting food. So when, we talk, when we talk about the food security, for example, we have to define the boundary territories and to, to define uh, some points to produce and export food. Mm -hmm. yes. For for to from in into the famine, for example. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, exactly, exactly. But the boundary mm -hmm. no es tanto en tema limítrofe, sino es más como en tema de de, de relaciones. Ajá, like like that's why it says here, como bounds, eh, como um. Oh my God, I know how to say that in English, but not in Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> Let me try to remember how to say that. Rela and relaciones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Con lo que está relacionado, yes. Yeah, okay, Please. thanks. Dígame, tell me, could, creo que es Andrea's voice. Yes, could be my boyfriend know which are my boundaries? Mm. <laughs> mean, gramaticalmente está súper bien. Lo que pasa es que es como bien general, I would say. Um, but normalmente hay un par de palabras eh, para hacerlo más fácil. There are a couple of words que utilizamos con, eh, con la palabra boundary. So una de ellas es draw, right? Como dibujar un límite, like draw a boundary. All right, or uh, la otra palabra que usamos con boundary is define. So you define boundaries or, uh, or you draw boundaries. So those are the most common words that we use. Como para establecer los límites or establish. Establish, yeah. Boundaries, so that is the one. Uh, so Andrea, creería que um, it would make more sense if you say uh, my bo my boyfriend and I have established uh, some boundaries with communication or some boundaries with family intervention. I don't know, right? Que es como más limites en algo más. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so me. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, three more minutes, guys.
one more minute. Is everybody ready? Do you need more time? Okay, uh, I believe that is a yes. <laughs> Okay, guys. So, um, so what are some of the words that are that um, that are kind of new for you? I guess most of us agree that it would be kind of absence or lack. Probably the word is scholastic. Probably boundary. Um, for some of you, uh, embrace or overseas or highlight, right? That are kind of the 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 least used words. Can you give us some examples? Uh, what do you have, Rafa, Kenya, Daniel? What do you have, guys? So what are some of the words uh, that are quite new for you? Yeah. You know what I mean? Margarita, hello. Hey, girl. Delmi, great to see you. Hi, Iris. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Is everything OK? I'm fine. Glad to hear that. Ya no lluvia, no rain. Perdón, teacher, no le escuché muy bien. Ya no está lloviendo en esa zona. It's not raining anymore. No, teacher. Oh, okay. Okay. Guys, yeah, right. Hay menos lluvias, I think. So, or I don't know. That's my perception. Okay. Okay. So, guys, ayúdenme con algunos ejemplos, please. For now. <laughs> Carlos? For now, the rain is calm. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully it remains that way. Creo que sea un invierno un poco largo, right? Y un poco fuerte. So yeah, but, because la niña inf influence. So yeah. ya no es el niño sino la niña. Okay. Yeah. 
to hopefully it stops. Okay, guys. So give me examples, please, with this vocabulary. What do you have? I choose the, for example, to include or to incorporate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Every day we have the opportunity to include at least five five English words to improve mm -hmm. our, our vocabulary. Okay, okay, very nice. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? We Thank make you so every much. Day. Me, teacher? Yes, please, Judy, tell us. My family is on the boundary of New York. On the boundaries of New York. On the boundaries of New York. Oh, mm. oh, okay. I mean, grammaticalmente it sounds good, pero solo que um, como boundary no es algo físico, se siente que le falta como algo. Probably um, podemos incluir un poquito más de información, you know. So, like, my family is in the physical boundary. Para ser como más claro, right? That will work. So in the physical okay. boundary of New York and y otro lugar como para hablar de la frontera, de la, del punto limítrofe. Eh, no. So boundaries is, is, no es algo físico. So that, that is the only point. Quizás agregamosle algo más y ya, ya sounds good. Okay. To place. Yeah, to places o la palabra physical boundary or... Uh -huh. So, porque son más límites, pero no límites eh, físicos. So that is the only thing. Mm -hmm. But sounds like a very good attempt. Very, very good. Solo un poquito más necesitamos. ¿Qué más, guys? What do you have? Guys, denme los ejemplos con boundaries, please. I would like to listen to them. Okay. I just want to make sure we got that word. Mm -hmm. Okay. In my case, I took a custom service department has to draw boundaries with the clients about prices. Nice, there we yeah. go, uh-huh, okay. And I like the way you use it, draw boundaries, right? With the clients, it's super bien. <laughs> that is so real, okay, okay. Great, guys, anybody else has an example with boundaries? Teacher, puedo dar yo mi ejemplo. Por supuesto, Miss, eso ni se pregunta. Give it. Okay. <laughs> Give it out. You have crossed some boundary. Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, yeah, that, that's a good example. It's a little general, but sí, se entiende. So we definitely get it. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Eh, la otra no sé eh, de Columbia River from the boundary West Bend, Oregon and Washington de Columbia River is located the boundary mm -hmm. between or, 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 Oregon in Washington. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, got it. Sounds all right, sounds all right. Si es algo físico, but menciona como los, los lugares, you know, que están incorporados. So yeah, sounds okay, sounds good. Julie, um, as, a, yeah. as, a, as a part of, in my work, I try to every day to put or to establish a boundary between uh, political and religious. For example, okay. Okay. I I don't like to mix uh, mm -hmm. God and politicians. Oh, okay, very nice. That sounds like a very good example too, guys. Anybody else has another example with boundaries? Christian, Imelda, Kenya, girls, boys. Or if you don't want um, to open your microphone, remember you can type it. Si pueden escribirlo también, dígame, Christian, say it. I I brought one. Uh, the Viking satellite has reached the boundaries of our solar system. Oh, creo que lo vi en el chat, right? I have the feeling that I saw. Oh yes, 
the Viking satellite has reached the boundaries of our solar system. Yes, that is a good sentence. I don't know what a Viking satellite is. <laughs> So you can tell us, no sé si es en órbita o something, but yeah, that sounds like a good example. Good, good, good. Okay, guys, uh, embrace. ¿Alguien tiene ejemplos con embrace? Embrace, embrace. Embrace, uh, accept, I have the learn one. to embrace. I have yes, one. please, uh, tell us, tell us. When they got married, mm -hmm. he embraced her religion. Oh, I like it. Good example. Super, super good. Mm -hmm. Sure. My, my yes. son learned to embrace her family. Okay. Very nice. Yes, I like it. Very good example. When I do miss mistakes i embrace the consequence very nice okay um that i really like that example aunque embrace es como las acepto eh, de forma feliz <laughs> i don't yeah. think you embrace the consequences <laughs> but still it sounds like a very good example um anything else guys otra palabra that is kind of new for you highlight eh, overseas do you have another example for other words give them out please Hay otra palabra que sea nueva, guys. Uh, can you repeat when can I use overseas? Because I wrote to go overseas is so important to, to know the reality in our country, for example. That, yes, yes, that's okay. It, it, it's okay? Yes, that's okay. Yes, okay. overseas, yes, it's like como al otro lado del charco, right? So, literalmente, salir de nuestro, de nuestra patria, salir de nuestro, uh, de nuestro país, o nuestras fronteras. So, that would be kind of okay. abroad. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's correct to say to go overseas. To go overseas, yes, or to go abroad. Mm -hmm. Oh, to go That's abroad. right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Miss, could be I saw some for foreign in my last travel at the beach. Eh, yeah, pero creería que es como vi varios extranjeros, ¿verdad? Like people. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, ok, perfect, perfect. Sí, podemos utilizar esta palabra, pero vamos a hacer un pequeño cambio. So the word is foreign, que es extranjero, pero en el sentido de, de algo extranjero. Pero si son personas, if we are talking about people, like you go to El Tungo and you see Americans, German, Italian. So, como ya son personas, le vamos a agregar la palabra o la expresión o eh, la terminación ER. So, ahora sí ya son personas. So, I, love, I saw a lot of... Foreigners. Eso podemos pluralizarlo. Mm -hmm. I saw a lot of foreigners. Mm -hmm. Okay. I saw a lot of foreign people, or, eh, como usted lo dijo, está perfecto, pero vamos a agregarle people. I saw a lot of foreign people, personas extranjeras, or I saw a lot of foreigners. So, vi muchos forasteros, right? Yes. Very nice example. Anything else? Other examples, guys? You can also incorporate images in the homework. Um, oh, with incorporate. Okay. Yes, that sounds like a good example as well with incorporate. Okay. Okay, guys. Very nice. So let's take a look at this vocabulary here. Um, most of the words, les utilizamos eh, on a daily basis. So vamos a practicarles un poquito. No sé si le tomaron captura, guys. Hopefully, you took a picture of these words. And we're going to do the following. Vamos a crear una pequeña conversación. And I want you to use, guys, maximum or minimum, you know. So choose five words from this list to put them into a little conversation. It can be about traveling. The conversation can be about everyday interaction at work, responsibilities at work, consequences, causes, whatever you want. But at least intentemos incorporar cinco de estas palabras. 
And please, que no sean las palabras que conozcan. Let's try to use the new vocabulary. Um, and I always say, si ya sabe cómo utilizar la palabra happy, ya no utilicen la palabra happy, utilicen otro sinónimo, right? If you know how to use, for example, defend, ya no usen defend, usen justify. Um, if you know how to use, uh, I don't know, characteristic, ya no usen characteristic, usen feature. Son sinónimos, pero al momento de hablar nos da más vocabulario, right? Nos hace mucho más variado lo que queremos decir y es lo que intentamos, right? Uh, guys, I'm going to give you some minutes. Uh, I'm going to give you like around five, ten maximum. Um, si la pueden hacer sin escribirla, muchísimo mejor. Let's try just to have a natural conversation. Vamos a presentar el diálogo, right? We are going to present the dialogue. So try to practice that one, but intentemos utilizar las nuevas palabras. We try to use all the new words you can. Um, cinco minutos, guys. We come back at 9.09. So go, go, go. Make up a short conversation, a short dialogue, please. Intentemos crear una conversación. Try to make a dialogue or a conversation.
Oh, guys, are you ready? Do you need more time? Okay, I guess you're ready. <laughs> so let's get it started here. Remember that it's a short, super short dialogue, but the idea was just to use part of the new vocabulary in the most natural uh, way possible, right? So let me just um, choose here a couple of, uh, of groups. Um, hopefully you're ready. So uh, group three, I see Andrea, Daniel, Imelda, and I don't know, guys, if Arnoldo was able to participate with you or he was just a listener. Uh, so, guys, did you have any difficulty using the vocabulary? So, so teacher, but I'm ready. We, we are ready. Perfect. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so let's do it. We okay. want to listen to you. Okay. Hello, good morning. Where is Juan? Hello, good morning. Juan is absent for this day. He has problems with his health. Really? Do you know the characteristics of his health problem? No, but he had a dialogue with the doctor. And he a highlight called because Juan need incorporate more vegetables, fruits, and water to his daily meal. Okay, thank you. Finish, teacher. Oh, okay, very nice, really, really nice. So I heard like some of the vocabulary that, that's here and in a very natural way. Thank you guys, good, 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 good. Um, let me see, I got just one more here. Um, Helen, Margarita, um, Angelica, Judy, girls, are you ready? Margarita. Judy. Hola. Hi. No son, no son hablando. Hay que darle el corazón a Dios. Judy. Hi. Okay. I wonder what are the features of the new employees? Um, he is responsible, he is polite, something else, yes, is, is a uh, good communication, he, he has good conversation, Yes, he has. Only teacher. Okay, 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 good. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, guys, me escuchan doble. No, teacher. No, me. No, teacher. No, me. Y ve mi pantalla. No. Ya no. 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 Okay, give me one moment. Give me just a second. Your, your audio is okay, teacher. Uh, yeah. Lo que sucede es que suddenly, es que yo creo que mi computer needs, um, needs some maintenance. No, you have <laughs> a new PC. Uh, you, uh, you, you need. Yeah, probably I need a new computer or my computer needs some maintenance. O todavía está en vacaciones. I don't know what's going on. Because <laughs> sometimes my computer is not loading. So, yeah, that's why. Girls, excellent job. That was really nice. I'm glad. I'm glad we were able to listen to you. And yo creería que nos faltan two more groups. So, I was missing. Um, well, give me one second. No tengo acceso here. But... Um, no, I don't have access. Pero me falta el grupo de um, Imelda. So I'm missing Imelda's group. And uh, so 
and I'm missing Adolfo's group too. So, ¿con quién estaban, guys? Who was in your group? Okay. Adolfo, Sorry, Carlos, and me. I couldn't participate because I have to attend something. Oh, okay. Okay, that is all right. Thank you. Thank you for that. So, um, Adolfo, who was in your group? Um, Christian and Carlos. Okay, Christian and Carlos. Guys, are you are we ready? Yeah, in short, we talk uh, about we we don't we didn't we we don't did uh, no I don't know how to you say didn't, you didn't make yeah uh, a dialogue is mm -hmm. uh, we have I, uh, uh -huh. we we talk about uh, the the Christian work for example in short Christian work for a Garmin factory. And he has a couple of foreign uh, co worker or foreign partners. Foreigners, uh, foreigners uh, foreigners uh, partner, right? Oh. And this year, and this year, this mm -hmm. for, uh, this uh, foreign, foreigners uh, introduce or incorporate a new, uh, they introduce or incorporate two new steps in the know how of the factory. Mm -hmm. And for example, we talk uh, we talk that they require only high, only high or the highest academic level in in some areas to 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 have a better production, right? And oh. a skill and some and and English skills is uh, our value value. Oh. Oh, okay, I see. Mm -hmm. So, Chris, why you're here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but uh, Christian, um, I'm sorry, hold my attention. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think that um, uh, Adolfo highlighted that you work for a garment company. Is that garment? Yes, I work for a garment company. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Hello. Mm -hmm. So, uh, do you work in the IT department in the garment company? Christian worked uh, for a sorry. garment company. Factory, garment factory. Uh, 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 factory, yeah. Uh, the, they, uh, they call? They sell uh, clothes. Uh, uh, to the USA or Europe, for oh. example, uh, uh, the factory doesn't sell uh, clothes uh, locally, only for the, the foreign uh, stores. For international oh. store, for a foreign oh, yeah. store. That's why internet is like really appreciated. Uh, guys, me escuchan? Can you hear me? Yes, uh, teacher. Yes, that is all. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I'm I'm like playing here with my computer and my and my um, cell phone. Okay. Okay. So um, and I'm missing just one more group here. So there were, oh no, that was it. Give me one second. Uh, oh, Rafa and, Ke and Noemi. So that was you. <laughs> were you able to, I don't know, did you get in agreement with the paragraph? Did you create another dialogue? How did it go? Did you have time yes. to practice a little? Yes, uh, a little dialogue. Yes, <laughs> Perfect, um, a little improve. <laughs> improving. <laughs> okay. okay. Hello, Noemi. Hello, long, Rafa. How are a you? Long time. I find a long time without dialogue. How is going? I'm good, really. Uh, how are you? Where are you working? I'm great. Uh, tell me, uh, um, and his family? Ah, uh, they are good, really. I want to 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 sell that sometime. I go, my family has a, a lack of money and opportunities of a good jobs in, in El Salvador. 
And as a consequence, um, we were at boundary as uh, of, to, of to sell uh, some things, some things out our house. Um, and really, some cousins a uh, borrow of, of decision of God overseas, and they are for ringers, for ringers <laughs> in USA three years ago. Oh, that's great. Yes, really, in, mm. in, in, in our size, they generate enough money for for a started a new restaurant and and they can incorporate another people in her company. Uh, wow, I really liked it. Oh, that was nice. Um, I don't know if that was for real. No, it's not real. real. <laughs> I, need, I needed to use a lot of a lot of words and I invent <laughs> but, but the story was amazing. I mean, I, I really like it because it sounded like a very, um, like a real story, like part of our uh, situation, right? Something that happens yeah. to most of us that our family move overseas and, you know, everything that way. It sounds like a very nice one. I like it. I like it. And very good use of simple past tense too to communicate your ideas. So good. It sounds really nice. Okay, Thank you. guys, let's move on then. Today I mentioned that we were going to practice a little bit of listening. So guys, I'm going to have this for you. I got an exercise for you. And, uh, but vamos a enfocarnos un poquito in listening uh, for details. So, espero que nos vaya bien. <laughs> I hope we can have like a, a good time with this listening. And uh, give me one moment. Ya se los comparto. So I'm going to try to share this um, exercise here in the group if it's possible. But, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. So give me just a moment. I'm going to share, guys, an audio. Uh, the audio is quite long, but necesito que um, we listen to just the first uh, 30 seconds of the audio, listen to it, and try to get every single detail of the audio. So nos vamos a enfocar en detalles, right? Every single word, every single detail, y lo vamos a hacer por solo 30 segundos. So 30 second audio. Um, give me one moment. Let me just try to share the exercise here. Okay, this is the one. Um, let me see if I can share this in the chat. Probably not. Uh, let me just check if I am allowed to um, share this. No, I can't. Okay. Looks like I can't. Oh, yes, I can. All right, guys. So let me share this one. Um, it is an audio. So it's kind of long, but I don't want to, I don't want you to listen to the whole thing. Uh, me confirma si lo pueden ver. And if not, denme un segundo y déjenme ver si les los puedo compartir in WhatsApp too, para que lo tengan también a través de otro medio. You can download it, right? And guys, vamos a trabajarlo uh, per group. So we are going to do this exercise in group because, you know, dos cabezas son mejores que una, cuatro oídos are better than two. So we are going to try to share two um, our listening um, knowledge. Give me one sec. Mm. Guys, let's go. Did it work? No, teacher. Mm, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see if I'm able to share this. Okay, there we go. And
Okay. Okay, guys. So, so now let's, uh, if it's not working there, I'm sharing this one uh, in WhatsApp as well. So you have better uh, visibility and, uh, you know, access to it. Um, and let me, let me know, please, if you are able to listen to that one. Regaleme confirmación, please. You, you can open it up and, or you can download it. Yes, teacher, I can hear the, the record. Okay. Perfect. Oh, yes. Sanner, isn't it? Hey, Peter, how are uh, Guys, what about the rest? Tienen acceso? Do you have access to the exercise? Yes? Yes, yes miss. Yes. Very good. Okay, uh, guys, quick question here. Um, because I, I want to establish that together with you. Lo quieren trabajar solo? Do you want to work on this alone or do you prefer working with people? Uh, with the people, I think so. It's better because on, alone, we I, share. yeah, we can share. Okay. Okay, guys, Let, let's do that. You know, um, because it is the first listening exercise we do here. Vamos a intentar ahorita hacerlo en grupo para que se vayan compartiendo. And ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? What is it that we're going to be doing with the, with the listening exercise? Um, this is listening comprehension. So, el audio está bastante largo, but I don't want you to listen to the whole thing. Okay, so I want you to listen to the first 30, um, that's going to be 30 seconds. So I want you to listen to the first 30 seconds, okay? Yeah. And I want you to write the script and write the script. So script is como escribir todo lo que ellos dicen. If they say, hey, hello, how are you doing? Ustedes van a escribir eso. Hello, how are you doing? So what we're going to do right now, guys, is just listen to every single detail. Uh, si no comprendieron qué es lo que están intentando decir, listen to it. Rewind it, right? Usamos la palabra rewind como para regresar, para irnos okay. hacia atrás. So you can rewind it, all right? And listen again. And lo vamos a trabajar en grupos porque probablemente yo escuché algo, mi compañero escuchó otra cosa, y vamos a compartir. We're going to share what you understood, right? Um, and put it together. Si, you know, al final del ejercicio, guys, me regalan su feedback, si les funcionó trabajar en grupo, or you know, for future references, ya los trabajamos individuales, right? But at the moment, we are going to be doing this um, in group, so it can work better. Um, so give me just a moment. Vamos a trabajarlos en grupos. We're going to be working this in groups. So I'm going to make the groups again. Just one moment. And uh, solo son los primeros 30 segundos, guys. Um, I'm going to be monitoring the group because no sé si se les va a ser muy fácil, muy difícil. In case el ejercicio está super fácil, uh, so I will let you know si vamos a seguir al menos hasta el minuto. That is the most we can do. Um, okay, guys, please join the groups, uh, join the stations, join the rooms. Um, you can play it there. Pueden ponerlo para todos. You can play it like for everybody. You can share a screen and. Uh, and you tell us later the script. So go enjoy it, guys. The best of luck.
Hey guys, welcome back. Um, how was your exercise? How was your listening? Were you able to get it? Uh, lograron llegar a los 30 segundos? Did you get to the 30 second uh, length? Tell me, how was it? Very difficult. Oh, why? No, it's, uh, it's difficult for me. Oh, 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 I, I know. The first 30, 30 seconds, mm -hmm. almost 10 times. Pero, pero, <laughs> did you get it? <laughs> El objetivo, guys, is 20, 30, 40, let's compare necessary, but the, but, the but, idea but is to listen to the first, people. The first 30 seconds. Oh, okay. I mean, yes, yeah, 30 seconds. That was it. The I'm uh, trying to understand that part because they talk uh, not, too much, not too much clearly for our listening. Okay. But we got to confuse. I don't know if you heard the, the conversation. Yes, I did. Yeah. Actually, in the, the, in, the, mind... in the beginning, uh -huh. in the beginning, La primera when, they, frase, right? when they found uh -huh. what she says, she says eight years or she says ages. Oh, eight okay. Years. Ahorita revisamos. We'll eight check years that. ago. Eight we'll years. check that. So, I think guys, ages. Um, ¿Quién es más claro? ¿El hombre o la mujer? ¿A quién se le entiende más? Who do you listen to? Okay. Uh, her. Yeah. Her. The girl. Uh, All right. Okay. Yeah, I mean, el, el acento del hombre es un poquito más fuerte. It's a little bit yeah. stronger. It's más británico, right? But, eh, si hay partes que son bastante claras para nosotros. Let me read it, guys, in Salvadorian English. <laughs> no, comparemos, vayamos comparando. Especialmente porque la primera expresión que le dice es bien confusa, uh, porque le dice como, hola, eres Ana, ¿verdad? Eres Ana, ¿no? So, it's like, yeah. hi, it's Ana, isn't it? Right? So, uh, in English. Janet Smith. Yes, me. Actually, no. no. Her name is Anna. So Anna. Peter yeah. says, hi, really? it's Anna, isn't it? Uh -huh. I'm Sarah. Mm, okay. 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 I heard Janet. At yes. the end, you can That's confirm it's it. It's Anna. It's Anna. Anna. Uh -huh. Anna Smith. Anna Pero Smith. Hay una oh, okay. expresión en inglés que nosotros no le hemos visto todavía, que es cómo preguntar. ¿Cómo confirmar información? Usamos It, right cuando quiero decir verdad. Hey, your name is Julie, right? You live in yeah. Salvador, right? Pero en hey, realidad Julie, esa right? no es la expresión que se usa en inglés. Eh, eh, lo vamos a ver más adelante. We'll check that uh, later on. Pero es isn't it? Isn't uh, it? So, yeah. hi, it's Anna, isn't it? And Anna says, hi, Peter, how are you? I haven't seen you. Y acá viene la parte que Carlos decía. No te he visto en ocho años o no te he visto en años. I haven't seen you for ages. So no te he visto en años. I haven't okay. seen you. Okay. It's not ages. specific. Mm -hmm. It's not a specific. I haven't seen you for ages. And then okay. they say that for four years. Yeah. I think it was four years at Cadiz graduation party. Do you still see her? Guys, ¿y qué sigue? What follows? Um, he looked very they talk, different. They talk about the about a, a common friend. Mm -hmm. About mm -hmm. Kathy has a Or children. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but guys, ¿qué dice de Kathy? What does she say about Kathy? What do they say about Kathy? Because Peter Anybody? le pregunta, do you still see her? Did you see ya? Last week and fact. Uh -huh. Yes, I saw her last week in fact. She is just has a baby. She's just got a baby. Exactly, exactly. And Peter's like, oh, wow, I can't believe that. Caddy, a mother, uh, right? So yeah. I can't believe how different you look. And there we go. Okay, guys, esos fueron los primeros 30 segundos. That was the first 30 seconds of the audio. Eh, ¿Cuánto dura el audio, guys? Let me see. Two minutes. Dos minutos. Two minutes. Okay, guys. So, para mañana, oh, for tomorrow, solo les voy a pedir que completen los siguientes 30 segundos. So, only the, the next 30 seconds para que completemos el minuto. Claro, si tienen tiempo, guys. 
escuchen todo el audio, listen to the whole audio, let's get married. Perfect, perfect, sounds all right. Um, intentemos hacer lo mismo, try to do the same, try to say notes, say algo that you're not sure, you know, lo podemos ir compartiendo y de esa forma vamos trabajando listening to, especialmente escuchar eh, vocabulario nuevo, right? New vocabulary, new expressions, new people. Vamos a trabajar listening this way. Unfortunately, eh, algunas partes, eh, uh, yeah, vamos a ver de qué manera, you know, introducimos listening. Precisamente por los derechos de autor, you know, que no tengamos mayores problemas uh, here. So, guys, uh, amazing practice. I'm super glad, you know, we got that uh, covered. Eh, gracias por completarme también la plataforma. Quienes ya terminaron la unidad número dos. Thank you so much, guys. Si todavía les falta, remember, tienen um, a couple of, you know, hours, let's say. Tenemos hasta el día de mañana to complete it. So, please don't um, miss that. Thank you guys, and I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Ya les tomé por aquí captura yeah, eh, of attendance. Dígame. Eh, eh, just have to, eh, until tomorrow to finish. Déjame ver. Tomorrow that will be up to... Lo que sucede es que mañana tenemos la sesión número uh, 14, and, eh, you know, I would say if you have the time, intentamos terminarla a más tardar tomorrow, porque el día de lunes, I'm pretty sure que van a tener, vamos a tener a los compañeros de administración, you know. Y es un booking como, right, que nos están recordando. Mire, no ha terminado. <ríe> so, guys, no, okay. pueden hacerlo. Yes, please. Yes. Ok. Les Cuando el mal agradecido se le... Ok. Cuando el mal agradecido se le... Ok. Guys, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.
Hi, Miss. Hola, Miss. Hello. Hello, perdón, me había mm. levantado aquí rapidito. Eh, me decía el ejercicio 1, ¿verdad? Que es con el que está teniendo problemas. No, ya vi que ya está calificado. Lo que me pareció raro que este, en, las, en las que teníamos que, que ordenar las oraciones. Uh -huh. Ahí ninguna me salió buena. O sea, no sé si es que no puedo, pero, o sea, ninguna me salió buena. Entonces, no, a, a veces, eh, fíjese que a veces es forma. A veces es un punto, es un espacio extra, es un apóstrofe. Más que todo en las que tienen apóstrofe, se da bastante eso. Deme un segundo. Eh, Recuerda el número del ejercicio. 1.5. Ok, vale. Déjeme buscarlo acá y lo vemos. El 1.5. Ahí le voy a compartir pantalla en un momento. Ya, ya está. So one point. How do you use with rather? That would be a strategy. Okay. Um, El 1.9. 5. 1.5. Oh, acaso. Ok. Eh, ¿Cómo la tiene? Vaya, en la primera tengo The, crab, the Creative Team Would Rather Ask the Manager. To design a relaunch of the product. Okay. Uh, veamos si funciona this way. A veces solamente son como espacios. Mm. The creative team would rather ask the manager to design. Relaunch of the product. Mm -hmm. Tiene razón. You're right. Déjeme ver qué es lo que um, está dando error acá. ¿Por quién es así? Mm, the manager. Ah, uh, ok, ok. Según esta, eh, haga un cambio. En vez de poner the, man the creative team, pongamos the manager. So the manager eh, would rather ask the creative team to design. Lo de, está bien, Al todo revés. está súper bien. Okay. Exacto, solo cambiamos el orden y ya funciona. Uh -huh. Ok, vamos a ver. En mi computadora, por eso no. No, hay. no se preocupe. Vamos a ver. Mm, no. A ver si puse una letra mala. Uh, hacemos el cambio, right? The manager y sí. would rather ask. Y luego yes. the creative team. Uh -huh. Sí, the manager would rather ask the creative team. Team to design a relaunch of pro. Mm -hmm. Ah, 
así yo sí. Ah, pues quizás mmm, voy a revisar. Pero como ya está calificada, no. Pero sí, sí tenía esa duda. No le, no le afecta, exacto, no le afecta. Eh, uh, porque es un 80% que necesita. Pero sí, creería que solamente es cuestión de orden, right A I mí, mean, usted igual puede volverla a hacer, no hay problema. La puede, eh, la puede corregir, puede revisarla. Eh, no hay como un límite uh, para, para los ejercicios. Ah, And, uh, creería que, creería, exacto, creería que con el resto quizás es eso mismo, ¿right? Solo es cuestión de orden, que también ah, okay. se traten y que ya funciona. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Okay. Voy Cualquier a cosita mis me avisa en, y las revisamos. No problem. Sí. Gracias. Okay. You're welcome. Have a good night. Good night. Bye bye.